this is maybe the worst example for him to bring up this issue. If he wanted to raise the issue, fine. Let's have that conversation. I'm willing to. I'll disagree with you, but we can have that conversation. You don't use Kyrie Irving and his relationship with the Boston Celtics fan as that avenue. No. Okay? Like, we have all this bad blood. He just left the team. And by the end, they were happy to see him go. A lot of animosity there. And he's doing it after the game where he was giving the middle finger to everyone. Right. Like, what? And on the court and off the court. This is not the example to use this. But if we want to break it down, we're going to see more of this. What evidence? First off, is that why they're mad? You're just making that assumption. Like that, that was not happening in the year, in previous years. Malice at the palace is that was that because of game? I mean, come on. So every time there's an instance, are people going to use this as an excuse? Oh, because of gambling, they must have right. lost money on betting. No, they're mad. Their team lost, and this. Ha I mean, come on. Um, also, <laughs> some of the examples he used. Oh, uh, well, people are gambling on everything. Does Woj know what's available to bet on? Where where is this bet? In the second quarter, this person yes. scores more than that. Where is that available? I've never seen that. You, this is you, NBA playoffs. You can't bet on that. I thought the same thing. You can't bet on a player to score oh, more God. than another player in the second quarter. <laughs> and here's the other part. The influx of legalized gambling money. All those bad gamblers. Hey, Woj, it's not legal in Massachusetts. And that was not brought up. Yes, it's legal in many NBA markets, including where I am in Chicago, where Georgia is in Philadelphia, and some places where you, where you can gamble in air, and I know the, the rules are very strange by you. But yes, we are in legal markets, not everywhere, and it's a big fight right now between the politicians in Boston, Mass. So he's wrong on that angle, too. Yes, I agree with him. We've learned that with legalization, there is a lot more wagering. I understand that. Not there, not there, but it kind of goes back to what we were talking about early on. People have always been doing this. It's in the culture there in Boston. They do it. It's it's a crazy sports town. So they're going to bet a lot on sports, but they can't do it legally. Shut and up. This, the first thought, I, and I mentioned earlier, I mean, Woj is part of the ecosystem that benefits from sports gambling money coming into the sports world. So like, he's got to check himself at the door on that one. He's benefiting too. But the other thing I thought about as I listened to that, like, he's referencing Kyrie Irving. Are yeah. Celtics fans on Sunday, were they betting on him to have a certain amount of points? I mean, maybe some. Maybe to like, have a bad game. Could. Sure. That, that could be. <laughs> but generally, I feel like hometown fans bet on their hometown team. Especially Celtics, yeah. Yeah. They're going to bet on Tatum over, Brown over, Celtics money line, whatever. Like, like, that's the way fans bet. I don't think they're sitting there saying, oh, I, I have Kyrie this, and he went over. Screw him. I'm going to boo him more. It just... It doesn't feel like that's actually what's happening at all. He's an instigator, an ex-player on their team that is an instigator. You think the crowd in New York was booing Reggie Miller in the 90s because they all were, had a bookie? No, they hated him. <laughs> right? This is sports. This has been happening and, forever. And also, yes. um, it, it was Nurkic, right, who went and threw the guy's phone. He made a personal attack about his family members. That had nothing to do with gambling. That was one of the other recent things that came up. So Here's what I hate this thing right anytime there's an incident between a player and a fan it's about gambling or it's about drinking it's not about somebody taking ownership of their actions it's ridiculous and then he started <laughs> blaming it on the, first it was the betting and now he's putting it on the drinking so we're just going to cut that off too let's just you know we're going to go to utah whatever all the vices I mean, out uh, everything out no no nope. you can't, you can't have get it out fun. get it out says whoa also I can't people coffee. have been gambling for years this yes, didn't just start this year. There are okay. people who've been gambling. How long, Joe, have you been gambling? I mean, come on. Oh this God. is not new. Forever. I was running pools when I was in, at St. Constance <laughs> grade school. Are you kidding me? Like, come on. <laughs> I was that guy.